Brandy. Just coming back to share another project that I created. Um, I just got back from vacation and I haven't been in my craft room for about two weeks so it feels good to be back and back crafting. I was working on another Graphic 45 project. Um, I have a ton of Mother Goose papers left from the mini album I made and I was trying to use them up. So, this is actually a photo cube. It's on like a little Lazy Susan and you can put photos in here. There's a little, like you can see the glare, there's a little like acetate piece there. So I wanted to make it um, cool on all sides so that when it turns to see the photos, you can see the whole thing. So I made a little scene on the top, so we'll start on this side. So here, and it opens so you can put the photos on the inside. So here I cut out the Mother Goose from the 12 by 12 collection. Um, I cut a bunch of the flowers out. I think these are from the 8x8 paper. Um, he's from the 12x12 12 12 and um, and then I made a bunch of flowers with punches and the paper collection. These are I Am Roses. Roses, all the white ones are I Am Roses. And then I made these little books. I don't know if you can see them. There's three little books that I made out of scrap cardstock and the paper collection and then I just used the stickers from the sticker collection to give them titles. So that's the front side. And then it flips around, and then you have Mary Had a Little Lamb, and I just fussy cut her, and then I made a hill out of the 6x6 six six, um, patterns and solids. And then you can see the top of the book I made. And then on this side, you'll have more handmade flowers. Um, I have a Martha Stewart punch here, and more I Am Roses, and then you can see the tier of books. And I cut Humpty Dumpty out. And to make these flowers, I just used an old like McGill punch. It's a giant pink punch, and then I used the other McGill that has like the multi-sized small flowers to make that one. But they're both McGill punches. Um, then you can get a better look at the books down here. There's three of them. I just inked everything up with Distress Ink. Um, my go-to is frayed burlap. I don't know. It's the one I always grab. And then I have Rockabye Baby here, and I just fussy cut him out of the collection. I assume it's a him because it's blue, but it could be a girl too. And then I covered, I made little frames for the front, and then I just put paper on the inside. These, This whole thing slides out, I'll show you in a second. And then I just added this trim on the bottom, just to break it up, and I've got glue threads. I don't want to do too much to the base, considering the top was so fancy. So. It's a photo cube. It spins. Whee. Um, and then it does open up. I thought about putting a mini album in here, but I haven't decided. I just painted it green to go with the paper collection, but these all pull out so you can put photos on them and they're, because they were painted, they're a little jammed. But they pull out and they come with a piece of acetate and then you can put the photo right on there. And I just put paper on the one side and painted the whole thing green. It was just a wood color. I think I got this forever ago at Michael's, or Joann's, I'm not really sure. Probably Michael's because they have the wood. There you go. And this just slides back down in there. And the top goes back on. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I hope you like it. Uh, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Enjoy your day. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Enjoy.